Well, this is a real treat for me because I normally only get to hang out with smelly, rude men. Yeah. And now I get to hang out with someone who just lights up a room oh. the minute she walks in. <laughs> Elnor Di Lorenzo, welcome to the attic. Thank you, Troy. Tell me how excited you are to be a part of this next campaign. I'm oh, I'm uh, very very excited. I uh, I can't believe you guys hired me, but you did, and now we're in it, and it's amazing. It's it's. Everything I think about every week when when I'm going here, it's so much fun. It's it's so scary actually. So, you know, you really get invested into the game and the story, and uh, yeah, it's all I ever wanted without knowing I wanted it until I had it. <laughs> and that's how you know it's special. Yeah. Tell me about your character. I mean, you have been excited about this for a while. You went through a bunch of different concepts, and then we've kind of finally settled on one that I think you're really excited about. Yeah, so my character, her name is Mac, Mac Cullen Donovan, um, and she is an older lady. Uh, she's 57 years old, um, and it was hard for me to justify having a level one character who's an older person uh, and not, you know, amazing at space combat and adventuring and all that. But she's basically a diplomat, a politician, uh, a little sly, a little, you know, uh, bluff maker. Uh, I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> bluff maker, yes. It's a it's word a, in Swedish. So I, I grew um, up with the family of bluff makers. Yeah. Oh. The next door neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. Bluffmaker. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's uh, originally a German name. Ah, Bluffmaker. Yeah. Bluff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no um all right um but yeah so she's a politician and um haven't been in space much but she has this little drive in her that she wants to explore more she is uh her theme is spacefarer oh yeah um so that hasn't that doesn't really have anything to, to do with her backstory but it's it's uh it's that little passion inside of her that she's always had but never really acted upon until now so I'm sure you know from listening to the Glass Cannon podcast that I love getting invested in the characters' backstories. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. with an older character like this, there's a much larger tapestry for me to play with you on like what happened to this woman to get her to this point in episode one. What can you tell us about her backstory? Give us a little, a little taste. Well, she has had a lot of fun throughout <laughs> her whole life because she has seven daughters with... At least five different men. Uh, not sure yet how many, but she, uh, so she's been, you know, walking around, but she's never lived with a man. She's not married. Um, and uh, so she has a, this huge family, but for some reason, she's not really talking to them anymore. And uh, yeah, something happened, something happened in the past. And so for the past 10 years, she's only seeing them you know, at, I don't know, the equivalent for Christmas in, <laughs> in packed world, um, uh, in the packed worlds. Um, so something happened 10 years ago. Um, that was a bit of a traumatic, traumatic thing that also explains a little bit of her personality. I have a thing for flawed characters, uh, and not, and not like anti-heroes, like, but, but they're still heroes, you know, it's more like she is straight up having some weird issues with certain things and, I kind of like that. Uh, we'll find out what it exactly it is, but she's a lot colder than you might expect um, because she's very a very charming person. Otherwise, but there is uh, certain things that politically she might think, and you know, actions she's she's made before that made makes her a little bit less of a less of a nice person to have to be around if you know if you knew all of it. Um, and, um, yeah, and her daughters basically try to reconnect with her and, but she can't right now. Yeah. Seeing this all come to play as the podcast continues is going to be really interesting because what is this 57 year old woman, a career politician doing adventuring again? Yeah. So yeah. I think it'll be exciting uh, for the listeners and for the other people at the table to hear what, uh, what happened to this person. Yeah. Um, yeah. did you cast her yet? I did. Uh, I cast her as Judy Dench. Ah, and, the dame uh, herself. The dame herself and uh, with the body of Angela Merkel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. um, CGI. We go dame Judy Dench's head with Angela Merkel's body. Right, right, right. Um, and so she's, you know, like a stocky little little lady. Um, and she has a very, she has a, 
she likes to drink uh, mm -hmm. a very specific type of drink that will be revealed like five billion times in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried that you were going to cast her as some unknown Swedish actor. And yeah, I was would just be like, I, I don't know who that is. I know, I know. I was thinking I want to make a shout out. I wanted to cast her actually as a, a Swedish woman called Monica Setterlund. Ah. But uh, then I figured, nah, I don't know. It's too, it's too much. I'm not familiar with Sutherland's work. No, but she's a fantastic singer. And, and I think if you saw a picture of her, you would be... She was very famous in the 60s. So she has that classical beauty of a woman. In, yeah, like she reminds me of Ing Ingrid Bergman. You know uh, her? Yes. Um, so like that classical beauty. But nah, I think Judy Dench has more power to her. Um, so I wanted, I wanted a little bit more of that rugged, like real thing happening. With, yeah. I believe she was in a, many of uh, Ingmar Bluffmaker's films. <laughs> Ingmar Bl Bluffmacher <laughs> in her early career. Mm -hmm. Maybe no, I mean they're not related at all. Actually, no, no okay. we, 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 that doesn't matter. This is this is going off the rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bluffmaker. <laughs> Anything else we need to know about this woman before we jump into the show? No, I don't think so. I just want to start playing. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I brought some dice. Uh, there's yeah. nobody here. Let's do it, Troy. I'm gonna take off my pants. Let's go. No. Oh wait, wrong game. Sorry. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> 